one second, guys. One, 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 one second. What up? We've got to give a shout out to South Nashville Heating and Cooling. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Friend and supporter, show and proof. Also, the longest running sponsor of I Got Some Shit to Say, the podcast. Absolutely. Look, man, South Nashville Heating and Cooling, where quality and craftsmanship come together. They've been doing this since 1985. That's almost 40 years of service. Expert designs, quality installations, superior service. Absolutely. And let me tell you something. What's that? Tell me. I feel confident in the fact that South Nashville Heating and Cooling will keep me warm in the winter. For sure. I'm It'll sure. keep me cool in the summer. Absolutely. Big Matter of fact, these middle months, you'll yeah. be comfortable even then. Absolutely, Absolutely, dude. Y'all know the deal, man. South Nashville Heating and Cooling, we love those guys. Y'all see the name, y'all see the number. Tap in. Feliz Cumpleamos. Always. Stop! It's uh, I got some shit to say to podcast, man. We're back like we don't stop because trust us, we never do. Y'all know me. Fuck you, Squid. That's right. R.I.P. Wizzle Fizzle. Forever and always. With me as usual, back in the corner, yeah, we got TV.com. My bad. Hell yeah. A little early in the uh, drop, Squid. Uh, yeah. My bad. Uh, also with us, uh, down on the end, y'all already know, it's the one, the only. Yeah, Mildred. 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 Still looking for you, baby. Uh, <laughs> right, still looking. It's like an endless search. Uh, yeah. With us today, we have a good friend of ours. Uh, mm-hmm. If you're unaware, just of the familiar, this guy's face is everywhere on my timeline right now. Just to be honest, uh, mm-hmm. la- with us, ladies and gentlemen, we have the one, and the only DJ Chill, ladies and gentlemen. What's going on? What's going on, baby? Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, I love you. Uh, the crowd's going crazy. Uh, DJ Chill, very, very busy man nowadays. So uh, if you're unaware, I don't know, man. The resume is getting long, Chill. So uh, you you want to do this? You want me to try to do this? Chad, you want to try to do it? it, 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 it uh, to I'm going to leave some. Chill's got a lot of hustle. I'm That's what I'm Chill saying. Do. There's a lot going on in that guy's world. I don't want to yeah. leave anything out. And <laughs> Who's DJ Chill? Man, I mean, I've been produ- I mean, I'm a producer. Mm-hmm. DJ in Vigili, a DJ in the city. Mm-hmm. Nashville. Yeah. You know, really getting it going, man. Really, really getting it going. Definitely. And yeah. uh, when I I mentioned, you know, immediately in it that I, I've been seeing you on my timeline a lot. And then when you take those three things from being a producer, well, we happen to know a lot of artists mm-hmm. around here. Mm-hmm. And I, I mentioned to Chill off camera right before we started how many recently have been through here and dropped his names as far as saying like upcoming songs or something that, you know, just purchased some tracks or something from Chill. Oh, yeah. So there's that mm-hmm. one. Oh, he's, and, hum- he's humble as hell, right? Right. Now. He's keep, keep listening. Hell, right? And then yeah. he mentioned being yeah. Jelly's DJ. And mm-hmm. and uh, how long have you been Jelly's DJ? Going on five years, five, six years. Okay. And uh, this is episode 150, what, Chad, three? 153. Yeah. 153. And on 152, we had Highlight with Doobie, which was great. Shout out to those guys. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, for the past five years, he's been Jelly's DJ. We'll get into that. Mm-hmm. And then third was still being an active DJ in the city. And yeah. Uh, yeah. when I say active, Bubba, I literally saw you last week shake an event that looked like a fucking... You know what I'm talking about. Crazy. That shit crazy. was wild, bro. Yeah. I was watching that shit, and uh, I think that party was like an R&B thing. Yeah, shout, shout out to uh, Two Wells on the Cloud, man. Uh, Nashville, that's what it's called, man. One, mm-hmm. one, one of the dopest curated events in the city right now, for real. Uh, yeah. It I'm looked cool. amazing, yeah. dude. But they had it rocking in that bitch. And yeah. it was like a DJ battle or some shit, right? Wasn't y'all yeah, like battling? Man. It was it was, was kind of like a battle, man. We we're just playing around with each other, man. We we actually went behind the behind the screen and we we're just you know what I'm saying laughing with each other because people thought we were really going at it, but mm. it was just you know Let's back go. and back and forth, just catching vibes, man. Like it's it's cool when you got two DJs that are real good. You can you can just bounce off each other. You know what I mean? Like, Absolutely. And yeah. D, DJ Memphis was cold, so it was like me and him. It, was, it, it it really became a competition at that point. Like damn, you dropped out. I gotta I gotta go on gotta go in my bag real quick and yeah, find a yeah. find a banger real quick. So. It really made an experience in the party for real. Yeah, I th- I think it's so dope though that you haven't and not you know uh, highlight literally just last episode told us that uh later is when he kind of got away from that and just focused on you know uh, Doobie in house type stuff and then on the road with Doobie, right. which makes sense. I totally understand that too. But to understand where you're at right now, uh, as far as like where Jelly's career is, et cetera, and still tap into that. I mean, fun fact. Today, Chill was booked for a specific time, and he hit me early this morning. Okay, I'm not trying to put you on front street or nothing. No, but he hit me early this morning, and he was like, Squints, bro, I know we're locked in at this time. He's like, can I get like a little extra 30, 40 to pull up, bro? Because I'm, I, I, I'm booked at the club. 
during the day. Yeah. Like day party shit. Hustling, mm-hmm. man. Working, right? Man. And yeah, yeah like, what am I supposed to say that? Like, no. <laughs> Sorry, man. Right? No, of course not. <laughs> but uh, I, it's so admirable that you still do that locally and still shake it and to the capacity that you do from like just club nights or wherever i mean i see you walk up in the after hours and shit and i yeah. see it on your timeline all the time gotta stay active man gotta stay in people's face yeah man, yeah and shout out to the art of actually djing man you got some motherfuckers up there that just punch buttons or let shit ride you know what mm-hmm. i mean like yeah. you got some motherfuckers that's some real djs man nah, it's, and it's, this it's, this, it's this, definitely, this is definitely one of them uh, uh you do vinyl chill yeah yeah i think that's dope uh, yeah, and and the event that we're talking about, or that I mentioned, you know, just recently, uh, that's a whole different. When you guys get in the crates, bro, and you yeah. start digging up just timeless fucking classics, just hit after hit, and you said there's two like experienced DJs that know their shit, and just start pulling them out the crates, dog, and just going one after another, yeah. like that's a party, dog. And, and yeah. it seems like you don't see that as much as you should, as of like in these later years. You know what I mean? It used to yeah. be a thing to like to mm. see those types of atmospheres, and now they're like almost non-existent. To be able to move move the, the crowd and, and control the, the the like the emotion in, in in the environment, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or control just to control the feel that's in the club. Like you can take yeah. that shit from turned up to, you know what I'm saying, to slow dancing and shit. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I yeah. mean? And yeah. control the whole. You, motherfuckers can be popping off. It can be. You can see some shit steaming up over there. You know what I'm saying? And then. Kill the whole motherfucking vibe out there on his, on some slower shit. Now you done calm the whole crowd down over there. The shit done, bro. Right? Yeah. Just bring the shit, the man. whole wave up. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, for real. Do you ever think about that, chill? Yeah, definitely, man. Playing like, the wrong record at the same yeah, at the at the right can, time. I break that shit up. You know what I mean? You can say it's the wrong record, but it's really just reading the crowd. Yeah. It's like when you do it for so long, I feel like it, it takes years of of really seeing different booths, different people come in, even touring. You know what I'm saying? You see a different, you see a certain crowd. Yeah. So you kind of ought to move around it, but but yeah, you get, definitely got to do that sometimes. It's, you can turn the crowd up, mm-hmm. you know. Oh, you got East Side over here. I'm let me play their song real quick. Yeah. You got West Side over here. I'm gonna play their hottest song, and the North over here. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm about to play their song. Yeah. Three, three songs in the city just turned the whole club up. Mm-hmm. And now you got people from out out of town like whoa, like what is this? Like this is this is Nashville. That that's yeah. that's when shit started getting cool in the city. Like. When I could do that, but it's dope it that you time. recognize that, though. Yeah, you know I, yeah, it, it, it takes time. You got you got to really like really pay attention to the club because like you can just sit back and watch another DJ. Like he might have dropped that song. Like oh damn, the whole the whole the whole west side, the whole city just went crazy on that mm-hmm. song. Like you just got to really you got to really pay attention to it. Yeah, just take yeah. notes basically. Yeah, see what's working, what's not. I, I totally get it, but to be uh, aware, even to what's you know what I mean. Like to stay tapped into that lane and still juggle all the shit that y'all juggle, especially you being on the road and shit with Jelly. Yeah. Uh, you know, leading into that sentence though, I basically was like, "What is the, what's it like? What's the difference between rocking three or four hundred, seven hundred in a club to two or three thousand at a curtain? You know, like a curtained event, yeah. and then rocking fucking ten, twelve thousand with Jelly. That's crazy, bro. It's it's really like the way I think about it. I I was just talking to somebody the other day. I was like, man. I'm about to do this Nash Fields, and I feel like I'm getting more nervous doing Nash Fields because it's people that really know me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm more, saying? More it's, it's people. It's people hitting me up like, "Yo, I'm coming to see you tonight." Mm. Like yeah. when you go out there and rock twenty thousand, like you, you only know so many people, and like they're mm. around you every day. Mm-hmm. So it's you, you know nobody knows you go out there just do whatever the fuck you want to do. If you fuck up, all right, they they'll talk about it for a day maybe. But in the city, it's different. Like you really got to put that shit on. Like you mm. gotta you gotta really mm-hmm. put on. So what's going on? But uh. That's really it, bro. I, I don't know, man. Like when you go out there and rock the twenty five thousand people, or whatever jelly shows we're doing, man, it, it's it's like it's not just me. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? You got somebody jelly's in the forefront, so it's like, hey, just do your job, and you're gonna be straight. Yeah. But when you right here rocking in the city, you the forefront, so you yeah. gotta you yeah really, more you really pressure. Gotta show it. Like yeah. you say, I, he might he said my phone will be lighting up. People say they coming. Yeah, you for sure. I mean? A bit. That's gotta fuck with your mental a little bit, bro. Yeah. Uh, at least your nerve part of it. Yeah, it's I can see team. why a hometown show. What about Bridgestone? Did that shake you a little bit? It did because I knew a lot of people were going to be there, but but it was still it was still for Jelly. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So yeah. it, Bridgestone was sold out like so far away. My my people don't buy shit until bah. you know, say two weeks <laughs> right. before the event. So that was way sold out by then. But it was still it was still hometown. So you still had to put on for the hometown. You know what yeah, I'm it's still yeah. different energy. You yeah. definitely did too. Appreciate uh, it. Appreciate it. Yeah, it, it was sure. so dope too, because our scenario at at Bridgestone Dog, we were set up right in front of B stage. You know what I mean? Like we mm-hmm. were right there, like right up, like 
one had a moment when we walked out that tunnel like fun fact we we've, we've mentioned it on the show but when we walked out the tunnel to like finally sit down is when you and highlighted had y'all were on stage for a moment you know what i mean yeah, yeah. we heard what was happening and we heard y'all spinning welcome to the trap house <laughs> yep, yep. Bruh, y'all and like into it. right and yeah, one walked out bro and like i swear i was like you couldn't paint the picture any better yeah, for for hard, like bro. one to walk to walk be behind one as he's like hold up hold the fuck up and he's like yeah, he had my, to get out there song, yeah. Yeah. that's yeah, a lot sure, of people's sure. song you know yeah, what i mean yeah. uh it's so funny when we introduce one to people bro because because mm-hmm. one stepped away from music for a big mm-hmm. chunk of time you know mm-hmm. what i mean right. and for him to be so active now with chad yeah, it's crazy. And, and us making moves as far as showing proof yeah. uh, O&E, we have to introduce him as you know the guy on welcome mm-hmm. to the trap house mm-hmm. oh in, right, we have to say spiel. it like his <laughs> yeah. right the whole spiel oh, yeah. the then moment it hits him <laughs> yeah. Yeah. so it was so no it was so like nostalgic and just fucking awesome for that moment i i won't never forget that moment Bro, like us yeah. being behind one because one's the type of individual that's that he's kind of like that's crazy man that's a cool classic behind, though bro. Bro. like that yeah. song yeah. it's really like a that's, that's a jelly cult classic bro like man, that, that motherfucker would never die it would bro i'm trying would to tell you would ne- every would time die. every time we play that motherfucker, I, I just know it's going crazy like mm-hmm. i you know at that time the whole the whole crowd's about to go wild bro yeah. Yeah, i love yeah. playing on yeah yeah, yeah, yeah for yeah, sure yeah. man it's, yeah i've seen some shit man we don't perform that motherfucker so many times all right, know y'all have, bro. All over the goddamn place. But, what, but, but one wasn't around, bro, for a chunk. Yeah. And when one started coming and hanging out and shit again, bro, we took him to, what did we take him, Chad? The Opry. Uh, yeah, the Opry oh, show. Yeah, the Opry. Yeah. the yeah. second so, or third time. Third yeah, time, man. I hadn't, and when I yeah. stepped away, I stepped away from me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was asking where you was at, man. Gone. I asked a couple. I'm like, yo, yeah, what's the other person on the song, bro? You know what I'm saying? Like, I haven't heard it so many times, but. I ain't never seen Man, him. I stepped, I, I, stepped away for, I stepped away for a while, while. You know what I'm saying? I had to yeah. take care of some business. But, yeah. but like, like you saying, like you said though, man, like my first time like back up in the up in the atmosphere, up in the space or whatnot was uh, was was the uh the, the Opry the show. Opry, yeah. So not the rhyming. Yeah. Not the rhyming, no, but the, the Opry. Opry. Yeah, and the, the, the rhyming show was a it's, fucking movie. It's getting yeah. away with jelly. It's like which Opry show. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah, it was the third. It was the third one. It was the third, right? right? Yeah. It, it, yeah it, he just be gotta, popping up in that motherfucker. He can now, pop up whenever. Now, uh, so, yeah, yeah just like two nights ago. Fun fact: when we're recording this, like he just popped up on stage with dude uh, Gary Lavox from uh, yeah. Rascal Flats. But uh, to see him at the Opry is not the same. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. Jelly, when you when you're at the Opry, it's uh, it's a live AM fucking radio show. Sure. It's yeah. been going on for a yeah, hundred years. We, we ain't treated like that. No, we, we like and that. when Jelly's there, dude, it is not, it's a different type of bill that night because they people are moving different. Like, you know, these, these people are like uh, people that come to Nashville to like experience the Opry and they go to a show and Jelly's there. You're going to see some people that shouldn't be at the Opry. Oh, oh, man. It was fucking oh, so funny. Uh, we, all, we always like our balls every time we walk in there with Jelly for sure. For sure. And we're loud. As soon as he comes off stage, we're all loud outside somewhere right, yeah. rather than fucking thinking about there's oh, yeah. still the show going on. The singing and the singing loud as hell. You know what I'm saying? It's all right. Kind of, all kind of Rick flares going on. Right. Oh, yeah. it, but one wasn't used to this. And I, that's, you know, back to what we were getting at, one what didn't see any of that type shit. Even like the the shows leading up to like uh, the Opry type scenario. Right. Nah, it, it's, yeah, the last, last shows that I was a part of was, was strictly, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, right. But like before the transition. Exactly. Before the transition. Yeah. yeah. But then think about looking at him, not seeing Jelly or being on a record like Welcome to the Trap House, one uh, such a classic record in Jelly's catalog as far as like hometown shit. Mm-hmm. Sure. And then stepping away and being just blinded to almost what was happening and to what, you know, the capacity of Jelly's career. Yeah. Know that he was doing well. Right. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. 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 And then for one to come in and catch a glimpse of it at the fucking Opry and then not see any more of it it's crazy. until Bridgestone. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, bro that crazy. was fuck it was, was so it was, it was dope to see that whole process not to like yeah. dive down in that or nothing put you out there one but that shit no, was uh no no it's, it's for real i mean because, i will never forget it like 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 you said like you, you know bro been you know what i'm saying doing this thing i mean family you know what i mean so yeah. you, you gotta know that but like i said i hadn't i hadn't been a part of it in a while you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? i hadn't witnessed it and seen the atmosphere in a while you know what i mean so and at opera that's not the same and right. then at bridgestone, bridgestone when he different. came out the tunnel chill i'm different. telling you chill when he came when one came out the tunnel to yeah. our seats was when, when welcome to the drop. when you and highlight were right y'all were right in front of us like right. we were right there on the rail i remember that, saying yeah 
that whole Look, that, that whole too. that whole night saying, yeah. that whole night was 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 nuts. You know what I'm saying? Like that literally before we even got out of the damn garage. You know what I'm saying? It was hey, I got some shit to say. It was it was it was squints. It was it was one. It was all all Chad that shit. Arms. Yeah, Fuck. Ted Arms. Like, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like that's the that's the love of it though, bro. Because it's yeah. like. Most times you see that type of crowd, and it's a prayers game where it's it's a Titans game. It's something else going on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that day the, the city was really painted. It, yeah. was, it was jelly. It was like everything. It was it was around. It was around that bad apple crew. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Was, that's all. Just walking on the streets, bro. That, that that really flooded downtown. It was, oh it, yeah, it was it was a wild experience. Bro. It, it definitely was. I I yeah. said it kind of similar. I said the the one thing about that night is that that we all had in common. Like everyone in that building was there for the same reason, and it was for jelly. So, you know what I mean? Because so, it, it was a jelly roll at Bridgestone. It wasn't this, 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 and this with this on top or appearances by. Like, it was just a night of jelly. It's, like, unforgettable. It was. But uh, I think it's so crazy, too, that, that Highlight was here just the episode before because, I, I the ro- you know, there's two different stages of Jelly's career and one involving Highlight to the fullest for, I think he mentioned six years was his span and then sort of shifted towards working on Doobie's career, which is obviously working well for them. And, yeah. mm-hmm. uh, Shout out to Highlight and Doobie, but they're going crazy. Yeah. How did how yeah, did the scenario sure. with you and, and Jelly come to light? How did that even happen? Yeah, it was uh it was actually Boston. I don't know if y'all yeah, Shout out yeah, Boston. Boston. Yeah, of course. Boston. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. man. Of course. So it was Boston. He was in a um clubs in Nashville. You know, at that time I was DJing like probably about six times out the week, mm. like six days out the week. And Boston was in like at least three or four of them with me. So he came up to me one time, it was a dead night. He was like, Bro, I know you're sick of this shit. And I was like, yeah, bro, it's the same shit. It's like, yeah, you can do this shit everywhere, all around the U.S. I was like, damn, for real. It's like, yeah, I don't know if you heard of Jelly Roll. I heard, of course, I heard of Jelly Roll. You know what I'm saying? It was a name, though. Mm-hmm. I, yeah. I've never seen him, never saw a performance. But I was like, yeah, of course I heard of Jelly Roll. It's like, yeah, he's looking for a DJ. You know what I'm saying? His DJ, somebody was DJ, he's looking mm-hmm. for a DJ. Because I, I think was, this was after Highlight. I think mm-hmm. he had, like, two other interim DJs in between that. But yeah. He was like, you looking for a DJ? I was like, bet. Like, he called me. It was go time after that. For mm. real. Hey, yeah, man. That's dope. Hey, yeah, man. Uh, I wonder if Jelly ever. Did, uh, so Boston told you straight out, or shout out Boston. Yeah. Did, he told you straight out. Or I wonder if he had planted that seed with Jelly, and Jelly was like, "Tell him to call me, or let's link it I up." Think, I think he already planted the seed. It was yeah. almost like it was already going, and he knew he was going to see me that night. Yeah, but it had to have been a continuous cosign on Boston's behalf oh, yeah, sure. prior sure. leading up to that whole conversation. To be honest, yeah. With you. yeah. That's yeah. dope though. Boston yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, he man. definitely yeah, sure is. He is. So Boston, man. Yeah, Boston's uh, family, dog. Fun fact: He's never been on the podcast. We I'll bring your ass, Boston. No, no, he did. He oh, was on the yep. yeah. tailgates, but like, tailgates, tailgates along too. me on the left. That's yeah. right. Yeah, it was on, but it wasn't like a full. Ep- it wasn't a full episode. <laughs> that's yeah. why. That's what we always told. That shit don't count. <laughs> <laughs> so that way I get chill over here solo because that shit was a cluster fuck. Count. We made it happen though. It was a cluster fuck. We'll be there again this year, hopefully. If everyone all works out right. And what's 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 coming up with you? Man, it's, it's a lot. What's, yeah, what's not? But before it's before you lot. even get into that, I want to let the people know that Chat's here. From a producer standpoint, this gentleman produced Jelly Roll Brantley Gilbert, mm. Son of the Dirty South. Son of the Dirty South. Huge so that that just gives you, that's, that right. gives you mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying that gives you uh, just an idea of something that he's done producing wise. Yeah. But you've got a lot more like in the works. That, you know what I'm yeah, saying yeah. that you're working with, but. Just to give y'all a reference on his on his production, that's one of the things. Absolutely, I yeah, totally. Yeah. I'm, I'm the son, I think it's dope that you specifically targeted that record to speak on, though, yeah. because son, that song is a banger, bro. I appreciate it. Bro. Uh, yeah. Fun fact: Me and Chad had the opportunity to walk into the studio the mm-hmm. night that Brantley and I said Brantley like he's my best friend <laughs> when uh. Brantley Gilbert and Jelly Roll were literally in the session. That's dope. And yeah. uh, me it's and, all at the Music Row spot, we're yeah, out there chilling. Here's yeah, we the came out there. and and we're just hanging out and shit. And I think I, we saw you in passing, maybe once or twice. Right, but because yeah, you was you was working on beats, I think upstairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you were in the, yeah. you were in the other studio. Yeah, but yeah. as we were literally getting ready to uh, leave, is because yeah. we hung out there for like an hour or so. But we were just hanging out with Mally and him or Boston. Right, just yeah. the whole crew was there. And, you know, Jelly was in the studio, door shut with Brantley Gilbert. And then all of a sudden, as we were leaving, they had came out. But as they were coming out, they literally, uh, we could hear the record playing in the background, mm-hmm. et cetera. But right. I wouldn't have known that was a DJ Chill record until it was, it was crazy. much later. 
It's yeah. like I did I don't think I even learned that until it was like in rotation and like being seen places. Mm. That's dope. That's dope though, man. Yeah. It's cool to be like that. Definitely shout out to Brindley, shout out to Bayless and Jelly, bro. Y'all Hell yeah. I yeah. swung me in on that one. It was, it was, it was already cool. They already vibing downstairs. And I was just walking out to say, yo, I'm about to go get something to eat. And just say what's up to everybody. Mm. And then swung on the beat like that. It was it was quick. Yeah. It made, the, yeah. made the rest of my, my part in like probably about 15, 20 minutes and right back down. And wow. Jelly made his, his verses. Dope. That's how you yeah. do it. Right? <laughs> but they were in there just yeah, knocking yeah. records Shout out, like dude. Yeah. Uh, we had really the, seemed like a cool dude. We, he, they were smoking cigarettes outside. Dude, and it was dope. Cool. It was him. so dope. So One, listen to this, dog. Me and Chad were literally walking out. We were fucking leaving. Yeah. And uh, Jelly, we heard Jelly swing the door open. So we're like, oh, I think they're done. Like, literally, our hand was on the doorknob type shit. Mm-hmm. And Jelly was coming towards us with Brantley Gilbert. Yep. And he looked at me and Chad, and he's like, oh, y'all leaving? He's like, hold on, uh, Squinch, you smoke cigarettes? Come on, we're going to smoke cigarettes. <laughs> he's cool, man. Literally what he said. And then yeah. me and Chad, Jelly and Brantley Gilbert, stood outside for four cigarettes at least, bro, and just talked that shit for – Yeah, he was cool. You talk about one of the most unpredictable moments, literally, of my life. Yeah. yeah. I'll, it's crazy, though. But to spin back. DJ Chill did that fucking record. I had, yeah. had a huge part of it with a you know a few other people. Yeah, yeah. And I, that, that's, that's I mentioned big, that one. Just big shit, man. Yeah, just that's because right, of bro. the the demographics on Chat Arms yeah. TV. That's something they'll all be familiar with that he's done. Yeah. You know, yeah. recently. But I think that it's it's dope to target that one initially because when we talk about you know early on we talked about the three things basically that he said the you know the producer the DJ and then uh, mm. the club DJ. But when we talk about the producer and we act, well, your active credits, you know, one specifically out the gate being the song, what is it, uh, Dirty Son South the, song? Of the Dirty Son of the Dirty Son South. Dirty South. Yeah. yeah. With all with that being the first one we, like, talk about, we talked off camera about some things that may be happening or things may be seen yeah, in the yeah. future. But just yeah. amongst, like, I got some shit to say or Chad Arms TV, mm-hmm. like, the active, like, artists we be around in the city, we have repeatedly heard of records coming, like, in collaboration with DJ Chill. That's dope, though. Right? It, like, it, like nonstop. Like, there's yeah. just been everybody like, yeah, I got a couple with Chill. Or like, yeah, well, supposed you, to, we're supposed to link up. You know what's crazy? Fun fact. Like, you can go back on, if you look on the Leroy Biggs playlist, we did a day in the life with Leroy when me and Mel took Leroy to the studio. And I'm Leroy cut a song to one of your tracks. That's crazy. Huh? Yeah, yeah you were making him some beats. He was listening yeah. to beats. And I forgot all about that song. I'm not sure what he's what's happened with it, but that's a dope song that y'all cut. Yeah. But Le- I was going to ask what was the name of the record. Uh, I'm from the woods. I think's what it was called. Man, I'm yeah, from the woods. Yeah, it was fire, dude. We recorded it in that, in that studio up there. Yeah, Shout out Leroy Biggs. That's Shout out Leroy. He's, He's in Florida. Watching. I got to get some shit happen. Shit down with him for real. Uh, I just told him another day. No, I'm yeah. gonna put you all on front street. Uh, as soon as Chill walked through the door and he recognized one was here, he said, "Oh shit! When are we getting in the studio? When are you pulling up on me?" And yeah, then yeah. immediately looks to Chad Arms and says the same thing. Oh, it's happening. And well, then well, they have to watch me like every other podcast episode. They have to watch me fucking juggle around cameras and cords and figure out little shit while the, amongst their conversation and I get to hear these conversations so uh yeah I think it's pretty safe to say that Chad no and he got some DJ chill shit in the works oh, yeah, we're gonna, it's on we're the gonna way work, man. gotta be, uh, on the way. Gotta be man. but there's some convenient parts to that puzzle that were kind of brought to light as we were off camera which mm-hmm. make it even more interesting to me yeah, yeah. Uh, cause any I, I, I love when the guys get new opportunities as far as uh producers but one as close mm-hmm. as you are with us as far as i mean that's yeah. dj chill's fucking family yeah. and uh y'all's whole production squad's fired off yeah that's what i was gonna say AMW? Your boy's hot right now too AMW, boy man. AMW, yeah, shout out y'all man uh, yeah you spoke about him a little bit off camera too dude. uh y'all's relationship and, and your partnership as far as the studio goes i guess that goes how's that working oh uh, yeah yeah so I, um with the new one i got a new studio out in smart tennessee it's, it's right down the street but uh fun fact it's my hometown yes yeah, sir that's dope, man. I got I got one with uh, my boy Nokio. He's on he's on a team. Dope. And, uh, we also got Smokey and um mm-hmm. and Jay Lee, and we also got a young boy to go to MT named Cash Counter. So um, we all you know what I'm saying just, just just swinging at it. I was waiting on that. We, I got I got one, but we was waiting on that rotation start coming through with the big ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then y'all gonna really know it's gonna about, happen. No by yeah. AMW, you know what I'm saying? Woo! But talk your shit. It's on it's on the way. It's definitely on the way. It's already already written out. It's just time for it to come out. Well, and and say like. When that come when that happens, like you're gonna see how you can make a hit record for Jelly and Brantley Gilbert 
and then you're gonna you're gonna make a hit record for an artist that's it's completely different style. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. So y'all stay tuned for that though. But yeah, it's, it's, versatility, man. You it's gotta, coming soon. Gotta have it, man. Yeah. Back, when I was saying, I'm glad we pointed out the Brantley Gilbert collaboration first because, like, the things that we've heard like repeatedly since I even heard you got the production credit on that, like, right. that that's not. I was like, that's why I'm like, really? Because the shit I'm hearing that's coming is not. It's not in that near lane yeah, yeah. Like no you, no no that like yeah, you said that was course. kind of a fl- not a fluke but that was kind of it, it wasn't planned right was place, it wasn't, right planned. It wasn't yeah. planned at all it was just right time Organic. right place yeah yeah, yeah. Fuck it. run that well fuck yeah, 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 yeah i just love great. making everything i mean it's like yeah we're producing is what feels right yeah I, I never wanted to have i never wanted to be a producer that like just had a sound like i, I wanted to have an effect on people like when you, yeah. see, when you hear my drop and you, you know the people that's on the beat you already know it's gonna be crazy. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's kind of how I want it to be. But yeah, just yeah. make everything, bro. Yeah, hell yeah, uh, dude. Yeah. I'm, let's let's go, man. Right? Well, uh, are you have you always lived in this area, like Nashville? Born and raised. Born and raised in Nashville. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Born and raised, yeah. That's dope. And yeah. Uh, what made you? Did you ever like? Before we go to like the new stuff, like back, like where it started. Did you get uh, into music through DJ and exclusive, or was you was you trying to be like an, an artist first, or? Yeah, how'd that work? Never was trying to be an artist. Always trying to be a producer. Okay, yeah. that's like the, one of the first times we've heard that. Usually, yeah. it's, it's yeah. you know, it's the other artists. way around. No, yeah. definitely. It, yeah, so like I think nine times out of ten, it's the other way around. They yeah, try an sure, artist yeah. first, and they're yeah. like, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, out to my mom's man. Like when I was a senior, she bought me a uh, she bought me an interface. Mm-hmm. And I, I I wanted to produce. Like I, I didn't know what to do with it, so I thought every all the sounds were already in the interface. Mm-hmm. So I had no clue. Should have YouTubed it, but I ended up sending it back, and I got a turntable. So like oh. that, that's how the whole that's how the whole situation started with DJing. Mm. I, I knew I wanted to have something going on with music though. Oh, oh, but it was it was it was initially I wanted I want to start I want to make beats, and then yeah. you're like, well, this isn't what I thought. Let me just do this instead. Yeah, yeah. yeah I just played the piano by ear, I played the drums. So it was always it was always music for sure. Do you still? I can still play around with it. You know, I, I can keep a beat. Yeah. And do I, you I, ever I still? Pick, it's not yeah. like you're not ever around a set of drums. Definitely, I go out there on Cody shit and fuck off sometimes. Definitely, Hell yeah, <laughs> Cody Cody Ash, man. that's really yeah, what I wanted yeah, to hear. Like yeah, I was because yeah. if you would have said no, I'd be like, come on, man. Yeah, Shout out thirty six hours. I have man, to go man. fucking play on the it, fucking it, drums. It's wild, man. One time Jelly was like, man, come just come out to the to the opera and play the drums. I'm like, I know you know I can play them, but bro, I'm not. I'm gonna go out there and fuck that shit up and at the opera, bro. Like, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah, not yeah. <laughs> that's not the spot to just go out there and just be on some shit like that. Salute to Big Fella for having uh, the faith in you, though, to oh, want to yeah. do that because oh. he wouldn't ask you to do that. If man, shout out to Jelly Bean, yeah. man. Like, yeah, he yeah. definitely has faith. Everybody's around him. He, he definitely has faith in all of us, man. He, he definitely knows it's something. It's in all of us. But yeah. we're, we're all around you for a reason, man. That's, that's the that's the coolest part about it. Yeah, yeah it's definitely yeah. dope, man. It's dope vibes with everybody. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's dope. It's dope to see it all. Uh, you're you're bear witness to the fact we've seen. Or, me and Chad have seen every fucking bit of it. I know. Oh, and he's a little late to the party, but you know he's back around now. <laughs> but uh, he's it's it's the best shit ever when we talk about the where Jelly was and how where he went and where he's been and and where he's at and where he's going. Like all that shit's amazing, it's, man. It's similar story, like to like. Doobies, and absolutely. Yeah, no, like same thing. Uh, Doobies. If if you take you know, Doobie scenario, it's like literally not, just four or five years behind Jelly. Yeah, it's That's just it. it's just different. Oh yeah, different uh, region on his way. You it's know easy. what I mean? Like it's yeah, it's gone, man. Shout shout to Doobie. Definitely, uh, definitely got some shit on the way. I can say that. For sure. Yeah, yeah, because they yeah, they, some, they posted that on the yeah, yeah they posted some. Some, he's working on some songs with Doobie. So y'all tune in for that. Yeah, y'all can check out his page, man. He got a couple little snippets out. Yeah, want to hear that fire shit? But man, look. Hold up! Shout out to y'all, bro. Like y'all, y'all not talking about y'all's grind. Y'all on the same grind, <laughs> the same time as Jelly Man. Y'all yeah. like the top podcast right now. So we're trying. Hey, we man. appreciate it, man. We just Definitely gotta shout keep to pushing bro. along. You know, yeah, we're working, 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 man. working. Like yeah. good, good team and good chemistry, man. We yeah, yeah, yeah. doing the same thing. But it's 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 like people we we owe our our appreciation comes to everyone watching and listening, of course. But if it wasn't for like just our loyalties are like most of our friendships with the people around the city we've built over the years we've been doing this yeah. you know what i mean like that goes, I, that goes to say a lot though man. it definitely does you know what i mean like it, it's yeah. it's been easy for me to stop rapping for so long and still with hold these relationships close enough to where i can get people over here and in these chairs That's but if i couldn't part. chad could right you know what i mean mm-hmm. and if chad can't i could is this vice versa mm-hmm. type shit mm-hmm. and then you take our personalities and put them around this table how could you miss mm-hmm. like it, right. it's layups out here bro we are it was yeah. like 
when we told Chill what was in store for today, like, bro, we just sit down here record. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean. Like, we just going, dog. And when we really fucking apply pressure, like when we when we sit down and the three of us, like minus a guest or something, we do internal pods. Like, it's a whole different level there too. Yeah. Uh, we appreciate the flowers for sure, but uh, so. yeah, well, back to what I was saying. You know, the whole jelly story is great. You know what I mean, and it really is. But when we get to like watch the band and yourself, like when we separate those mm-hmm. individuals because we know y'all personally, and we watch those stories, they do, hit do just as hard. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. hit just as hard. Shout out to Casey and Cody, and all of Casey Strong, Jack. Yeah. yeah, Jack. Fuck. Yeah. Like, Alex, yeah. y'all all, for sure. Y'all all, yeah. sir. Like cool the Rose, you know, the Rose, man. Rose just came into the to the oh, fold, Rose, but he, yeah. He's definitely definitely bringing the flavor to the whole situation on stage. Bro. Yeah, is, the, is it the dude that plays the uh, plays the pedal steel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. hell yeah. It's, that, it's crazy. Like I've never like it sounds like he's just like whining. Yeah, like yeah. on the beat is is it's ridiculous. It's right? beautiful yeah. shit, yeah, and it adds beautiful. so much to it. Yeah, uh, I met him for the first time at Red Rock, and it was his birthday mm, no, at no, the Red Rock show, and that was uh a spectacle yeah. you know what i mean because that was my first experience going out of town and seeing it to that capacity you know what i mean because i we we went to tailgates and tall boys and shit and we saw mm-hmm. you know i think it was like five to seven thousand seven about seven yeah. outside muddy in the motherfucker so it was a different type picture being painted right right but then i took it to red rocks and we watched it there front row we had front fucking row and bro it was unreal it's, it's, and then it's, fast forward two months to Bridgestone, and that was crazy. like, oh, I don't understand how, like, to be as humble as you are, chill, and come home and sit with us and hang out with us and, and all that, but still be tapped into, like, local artists enough to be working in the studio. Yeah. And still be tapped into the club scene to be spinning regularly and being involved in numerous events around the city. Like, that's some humble shit, Bubba. <laughs> Because you're, you're literally six months out of the year gone touring the country at sold-out shows. Yeah. Right. And I'm talking shows. We're not talking like private venues, six, 800, 1,200, even 3,000 people capacities. Like, this shit's about to turn up even more. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but golly. Shout out to you. It's <laughs> cool. This man. boy's still That's in his fucking shit, 20s. So who? <laughs> big shit, man. What about what about like so y'all did so many shows last year, right? Yeah, so many. If you had to pick three, you know, however many, like some of your, what were some of your favorite spots that you went to as far as shows? Maybe some of the maybe the craziest shows, or maybe the best memories, or something. Do you have a few that stand out? Because yeah. I know when y'all do what y'all do, a lot of them probably run together. You're yeah, like, what city the, are we in today? Right. You know, depends on how fucked up you are the night before. But right. But yeah, no, nah, man, I definitely uh definitely say this year. I just, just keep it to one, Las Vegas. Like, that mm. was, that mm. show was definitely one of the craziest experiences. Like, we were really? really? We're, that was we're in old Las Vegas. Like, we're, we're right down Fremont Street. Like, yeah. and you yeah. look up at the top, it's usually like it's all other shit. It had Jelly Roll on top of that. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Bad Apple on the top of that. So it was like, whoa, bro. Like, we really yeah. just took over Fremont Street. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. So yeah. many people out there have no clue, but now they do. Uh, yeah. I knew I knew that shit was official though. I remember yeah. exactly what you're talking about, just from like a spectacle standpoint. Because there was like footage that Jelly or somebody on the team posted of that zip. You know, you can take that zip line zip thing, line. Mm-hmm. and they're just on the zip line going through like a yeah. sea. Yeah. yeah, shout out to Jeans yeah. Media, man. That's that's our um, that's our videographer. So he took he took that shot, took his camera. Yeah, zip line performance all the way down. He's a beast, man. People. I met him at the press conference for um Super Crit. Bridgestone. Yeah, he's he's a good seems like a good dude, man. He's really good at the visuals. The visuals, dude. yeah. I tell you, like he's he's great at it, and like sometimes when you get like that, it takes time. You know what I'm saying? So you yeah. gotta wait on somebody, but he's fast, bro. Like he's he's popping that shit out by the day. That's mm-hmm. good, man. Yeah. Especially when you are in that mode for that four to six month time frame. Yeah, exactly. where it's like you you want to have content, but you you got to get it out because you're already in the next city, and then it's dope that he can get stuff out quick. Nah, definitely. You know. The what the the visuals he puts together, or not just him and the the, the team, the the visuals that come out for the band as a whole is amazing. Like it it comes hand in hand with Jelly's yeah. brand now, to where your face is seen. Uh, chills all look cool, motherfucker. Too, <laughs> uh, smoke and lights and shit going on around you. It's yeah. just fucking wild, dog. To see all that though and be that active on the on the road and 
probably be in the bag at this point in your life. And to still be active uh, locally, though, is the most admirable shit that we can that I can recognize right now. I appreciate it. Uh, I love it. But the fact that, uh, like I said, the chill's close to us, dude. I'm I'm ready for O and E and Chad Arms or, or them individually or some Troy and Emmett shit. I don't give a fuck. Man, yeah. this it just happen, gotta man. happen. Bro. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Sure. yeah, for sure. But now, especially now, he's he's not far. I'm so. a fly on the wall in that man. scenario. Yeah. I, I'm I just want to sit in the sessions and listen to the Chills catalog. Now we can do it. We can do it. When that, run a that, that for sure. That for sure. Definitely want to pull up. You know, because that's something I don't like think that. I've I've got a lot of in session like studio shit. Uh, no, nah, just uh, somebody saying I got these beats from Chill and me getting to hear beat chills from. All right, that, whatever oh, I'm yeah. talking about. Hey, that would be dope too. I'm, he I'm ran through a whole bunch that one day when, when Leroy was there. I mean, you ran through. I don't know what all how much you know with stuff that had already been used or whatever, but it was you're just giving him ideas. But yeah. That was and then that was damn near two years ago. Damn near. Yeah. That was twenty twenty one. That was it's like crazy. July or August of twenty twenty one. Flies, bro. Yeah. Damn, yeah. I love it. A year and a half ago. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, man. It was such a cool spot. We were man. just talking about that it, the other it, day. It was a vibe, man. It was it was perfect. Uh and it, I hated the fact that uh, that was about when moved out of that spot. It was about the time he came back around. Yeah. And yeah. it's like, and me and I've, me and Chad have privately talked about that. I've mentioned that fucking studio a hundred times since then. I was like, fuck. Mm. But now, fast forward to today's conversation, and it's like, oh, oh we're okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> for sure. But anyway, uh, for sure. yeah, I, that that's location for that, dude, that seemed awesome. Like I said, the night that we were there and, and had the opportunity to meet Brantley Gilbert or whatever, uh, Chua took us in, like, greeted us in passing a couple times but he would go to they had a couple in there there was two or three rooms set up it was Mm -hmm. we we end up uh having like two rooms upstairs like at the end of it literally just two separate studios in the same building yeah right right down music road right right down music road it was kind of crazy like i never Mm -hmm. think i would be cooking up on music road when i first tried to pick up an interface but man it ended up happening and then kind of walked into it the room was just open up there and Bayless was downstairs. So I used to just come in there all the time blowing Bayless up. Like, yo, please. I was like, let me let me get in. What's the code? Oh, yo, yo, yo. Mm-hmm. And then finally, like, bro, just, just go ahead and just, just rock that room out up there. Mm. And then we ended up making it two rooms. Like, we, we, were, yep. we really had some motion up there. It's almost like I lived up there. Like, it was we there all day, every day. It was a schedule. So we had plenty of beats. But That's I mean, it was. hey, dude, you're built. Like I said, it seems like from that point, from where, when we seen – Witnessed like that type time, fast forward two years or so, if that. It wasn't even that. Year and a half or so. Yeah. Uh, now your name's relevant as fuck to me when I hear about these motherfuckers talking about beats or talking about doing some records and shit. I think B. Howard was talking about Have you talked to B. Howard? Brother? Yeah, yeah. I, th- I think we got some stuff coming out, man. Actually, it's going to be dope. Shout out B. Howard. Yeah, shout out B. Howard. Caps too. Uh, Shout out B. Howard for sure. He needs to pull back up, and I need to be ones. here. I've, had, I've missed him both times he's been here. He's dope. B. Howard? Yeah. Yeah, he does need to pull back up. It's about time. Yeah. Uh, him his new single, well, Goat seen. Cheese is Fire, but his yeah. new single that just dropped is super dope, too. That's well, one he, where he's, he's referencing he's nice, like all the rappers and shit, right? Yeah, he, he, he's nice regardless. He's been nice. No, he's one of the nicest ever. Yeah, we've been saying this for years. Mm-hmm. Uh, shout out B. Howard. Pull up, B. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I wish I could think about somebody else that just immediately that's mentioned your name over here, but I'll probably get in trouble if I drop their name. Rare, rare is the name of that. That B. Howard one. Okay. Rare is the new record. Rare, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's probably B. Howard. It's probably watching. Have you done anything for Vac and Neil? Bezel Gang and Neil? I'm yeah. glad you're asking because I, I about said it out loud a couple times. But I don't want to get in trouble. You have? Yeah. I, I, I thought maybe that. that we've had them on multiple times. It may have been them that said something. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Cortez? We fast on A little murder. I think possibly, bro. Because he awesome. came with Rail brought Rail brought him one night. We okay. shot the show. It was a really dope episode. Yeah, yeah possibly. Salute, no. salute to him. It's so many people. Like I'm gonna be real. Like when I first started really understanding, I can sell the beats. I was like, man, I'm not even gonna do that yet, bro. I don't, I don't even care about selling them. I just want to get them out to everybody in the city. Mm. Like I, I try mm. to get a beat out to everybody, like, dope. Every single artist. And then that's when the whole the whole wave. Like damn, bro, you really hard. Mm. Right, right. And started. I was like, bro, I don't want to sell this shit. It took a while before it, before I even put a price on it. It's still like when you just love this shit, bro. You, it's, it's going. Well, especially it's now, gone. yeah, especially now, like. You can just make sure you get your your splits on the you know the back end. On the and back end, yeah, for just, sure. Just you know, it's kind of better to do. It. I mean, not better, but it, it it if you're easily 
able to like cook shit like that. Yeah, yeah it definitely gets it. You know, like, gets it out there more. And and it's dope, man, because something that something can pop out six, seven months. Yeah. You know have, with an artist that you have no clue is gonna yeah, pop. You forgot yeah. all about this shit. Or yeah. a record. It took a long to get some motion behind. Yeah, I was yeah. it's, it's like that. But like a lot of times like when you get to a legit side, like it really takes time. Like, yeah. like we were sitting on Sunday South for half a year, I feel like yeah. before it dropped. Mm-hmm. And so yeah. the songs that I've been sitting on for two years that are crazy. Yeah. They're still gonna have to come out. So it's like with those with the major songs, it, it takes time. So it's cool to split on that. It's perfect. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? In the city, that's that's when you get that work in. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Make sure people get the packs. Yeah. Right. right, right. Going, it keeps, it keeps yeah. your it keeps face. Everything it moving. keeps them keeps yeah. you in their face too. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Like I said, bro, you're just, literally on my social media, bro. Chill just be popping up, bro. My partner just be tagging chill and all kind of shit. Yeah. yeah. Which is great for you and your brand, like yourself. Yeah, uh it's like ship that shit out, man. No matter if it's the hardest beat I made or whatever kind of right. beat it is. Work. Get it oh, out. Yeah. People gonna hear it. As far as uh Regional talent. Is there anybody you ain't got to yet you'd love to work with? You'd love to call out? Uh, local. It could be local or let's say regional. Don't go too far out on me. I'll be real. Say Lido. Lido. Yeah. Shout, out Lido. Yeah, shout out Lido. Shout out Lido. Lido, pull the fuck up. Oh, yeah. This is a plea Star I've got had for a up. while. So I'm okay. Yeah. I, I don't even feel bad saying it anymore. I used to like, <laughs> I used to like ask him nicely, but now I'm like begging him to because that list is like three or four people. Like it's almost gone. And Lido's still on it. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely one of the people, man. Just being from the city, like that's just something you want to stand to. Like once I got Jelly, that was that was a, that was a huge check off. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? For, yeah. for the city. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, uh, for shit. Period. Absolutely. But, um, Has shit. there been any other tracks of Jelly's that's been released that you produced besides Son of the Dirty South? We we're playing around with a lot of shit on tour. You know, so he was just yeah. jug- juggling his his freestyling, but yeah. Um, it's all. It's gonna be some more stuff on the way. Dope. Okay. Cool. I just didn't Definitely. know if there was any that that you did that, you know, what I'm saying that I wasn't aware of or not. But that's yeah, dope. I'm definitely. sure y'all got more in, uh, in the works. Yeah. I was definitely on the way for sure. Yeah. Uh, I love the chemistry that you've built with with Jelly over the years, though, man. Yeah. To see uh, to see it a few times, you know, like on the road, and and then see uh the Bridgestone show or whatever, and. Then they so see so much fucking footage. I saw that damn R and B shit last week. Oh yeah, literally. Uh, man, I wish I could have made that motherfucker, man. Bro, they had it shaking yeah. in that. Yeah, Nashville is crazy, bro. It Every was time. dumped in that motherfucker. Every boy. time, it looked yeah, it so is. good too. Yeah. Like whoever, yeah, whatever yeah. store, whatever I was seeing, whoever was putting that shit up. I wish I knew by handle right now who that was because I'd throw them flowers. But that painted the prettiest picture of a fucking event. Mm-hmm. Valentine's event. Oh yeah! Shout out to Two Wells. Two Wells you know on the cloud. Mean? Yeah, shout out to Two Wells on the cloud. I'm familiar. Yeah. Um, but I, it, it's the best. Yeah, that that shit looked amazing. But to uh, to take all that shit in, Mara, and and to just think about how busy DJ Chill is and how uh busy he's gonna get. You know, the projectile of Jelly Roll's career is not slowing down anytime soon. Mm-hmm. Uh. On top of everything else that he got going, that, that right. you got going on, and it's yeah. on top of everything yeah. else, right? Yeah. And it's interesting to me, though, you know, as Jelly's career as we know it has took such a a steer down a, a different path as far as the genres. You know, what I mean, like we, we know Jelly from, I mean, this is the guy from Welcome to the Trap House. You know what right. I mean? And now, you know, with uh, the more recent music, basically all being targeted towards rock and country radio. Sure. And we know personally that, that there's Jelly Roll has aspirations to be a rapper again and do do more rap stuff here and there and just remind us that he can still do these things. But what's it like for DJ Chill to be just pulled down the country rabbit hole? Like <laughs> uh, it seems, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like given what you do locally or how you portray yourself in the club, and then be recognized. Move nationwide as right. Jelly Roll's fucking DJ. Yeah, it's, it's, you know? it's definitely it's it's crazy, man. But I feel like I've always kind of kind of been versatile. Like mm-hmm. I, I went to Ezo Hard and so that's off. And it's in Antioch. It's a private school, so mm-hmm. like I I went to, and then I went to East Lit too. So mm-hmm. it was like I, I kind of got the best of both worlds all the time. Mm-hmm. So like then I went to TSU at the Ezo Hard. So it's like I kind of just bounced around. Then I went in the city for a while. Hopped out here with Jelly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, but I definitely just know how to 
kick it with people like connect with everybody yeah so it, it was it wasn't hard but it, it, at first it was definitely a, yeah. a different it was yeah, way adapt. different than what i was used to yeah. going out to tsu in the city yeah like i was really i was deep in it for a while so it was like going out there and seeing a whole country crowd it was it, it was wild at first but once did it you make you nervous it, yeah that's what I'm getting. as far as it just being a different not really demographic like I, and just what you're used to it was so left field that like I had nerves the like, first couple shows for sure. Like, yeah. This guy just didn't know what I was doing. That was my first time I actually took me to tour DJ. Yeah. But um not nah, like as far as like going out there and rocking the crowd, not at all. Like, yeah. Yeah, I went out there. Because well, they're there, they're there to see, see Jelly like Jelly, yeah. When, when I went out there the first time, I was like, yo, y'all make some noise and everybody in the crowd start screaming. All nerves were gone at that point. Right. Yeah. It was like, all right, it's showtime now. Yeah. You got their attention when you you're the main. Yeah, because mm-hmm. when you're yeah. doing stuff locally at shows, you may not be able to get near that like kind of it's hard. certain you work, spots. You, you know gotta, what I'm saying? You gotta work it up. Yeah, you gotta work it up. But like with him, it's you're, you're the main show. Like that's what they've been waiting on the whole time. So mm-hmm. like when, yeah. when you go on, it's showtime. After I figured that out, it was it was on and popping after that man for real. Man, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's dope, man. That's dope as hell, man. I'm I'm just sitting up here when when, you, when you're talking about it, man. I'm sitting up here imagining it uh, or seeing it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. I bet that's a crazy type. You know what I'm saying? Being from that point of view, from Bruh, where you and Jelly night was. after night after night. Man, after even, night. even at even just at the Bridgestone, you know what I'm saying? But just mm-hmm. from, from y'all's point of view, that shit got to be crazy as hell. Night that's after wild. night. Right, you know night, what I'm saying? It, what, like, God damn. What got, that's what a lot got of crazy. It was it just got comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Like the, the crazy part was gone now. It's just, it, it's, another, it's another show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah. it's another show. It's another day. Mm. That that that's when it got. That's when I was sitting back like, whoa, yeah. Now this shit really getting crazy now. Like the big shows are just they're starting to just repetition. I could only imagine personally like pinpointing like certain moments and not even speaking on them. Like just mentally, just being like, and we really doing this? Yeah, like this is really happening. Yeah. Oh, you sit back sometimes. You sit on stage. You sit and look out the lights. It's like whoa. Yeah. yeah, you'll you'll see it sometimes. Like we see arenas all the time. We see amphitheaters all the time. But like some of those, you just sit back like, damn man, we're yeah. really doing this shit right now. Like we're really on the stage. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, to your point one. Like to sit like as I just stare off in space and to just yeah, just imagine you're uh, being right though. Exactly. Like uh, <laughs> that's crazy. I think I don't know, man. I'm at a point in my life, dog. You know, I'm I'm about to turn 41 years old this year, and to my eyes have never seen something like that. Uh, I have, really. You know what I mean? There's been opportunities where we've shared a stage with each other. Mm-hmm. And that's an amazing experience. Don't get me wrong. But tonight after night, just get the opportunity to see that uh, across the country and just continuously be embraced and just uh, your stock locally and as a brand as yourself and be incorporated with Jelly Roll continue to rise. I think uh, – you're in a wonderful, wonderful position in life, dog. I appreciate it. That, uh, yeah, dog. Man, I, man. I, and keep putting on for the home keep team. Keep putting man. on for the home. Oh, yeah, man. man. You know what I'm saying, like this motherfuckers, this motherfuckers looking at you that, that you have no idea. You know what I mean? That's real. And what you're doing, man, is is is, is, is some shit that need to be glorified. Yeah, that's real. Yeah. You know what I mean? it, it really real. does, chill. Yeah. And and the fact that we, it took, it, it, I'll admittedly say, it took me 46 minutes to when one said like. Like and he sat back, and he rubbed his face, and he's like, "Man, I'm just sitting here thinking." He came off the mic, and, mm. and that it hit me, dog. Like I'm just looking mm. out and out to it, and I'm just thinking about it, bro. And like yeah, that is crazy. This shit to be where you are in life at, at your age, and to be as active as you are, and have a presence like you do, and uh, talents in in the ways that you have them. Like, uh, man, I can only think of what your eyes will see by the time you're forty, like me. That's real, bro. I appreciate it, man. Fucking, it's no stopping. I gotta keep going. Stadiums, bro. like yeah. nervous energy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I get yeah. back, I get back home, and it's like, bro, can't sit down, bro. It's, th- it's time to hit the studio. Like, some nights, bro. Some some mornings, we'll get off the road, and I'm going straight to brunch two hours later. Mm. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, we just, we just had a whole two weeks on the road. <laughs> I'm calling, I'm calling the club on my boy Mina. Yo, I'm coming in today. Mm. You know what I'm saying it's like yeah, work. Yeah, it's, work. You gotta keep moving. I got, I got one for you. So if you wasn't doing what you're doing now, mm. what would you be doing? That's tough, bro. That's yeah. tough. Uh, I'm gonna be real. Like I kind of like threw out everything else. Yeah. Early, so it's like it's it's hard to sit back and think about and what what would chill be doing mm-hmm. if I if my name went you know what I'm saying if it wasn't even DJ Chill. Yeah. 
Cause like I'm gonna be honest, like right when I got to college, it was it was really senior year. Mm-hmm. Like it was it was DJ Chill. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It, and at yeah. that point out, my last That's job my last fair. real job was true religion in like my freshman year of college. That was yeah. it. Like mm-hmm. at that I crossed and I started going crazy in, in college I the jobs were done. I was just committed. Committed. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah so that's, that's dope though. Yeah, yeah. It's you been bet a, all on yourself, dude. Yeah, it's been a while. So it's, yeah. I can't I, I don't know. I can't even think about it, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's that's <laughs> fair. That's real, that's real the, shit though. Yeah, that's yeah. real though. It means you wouldn't change anything. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm gonna tell yeah. you right now, I wouldn't change shit for you. That's Jesus. Real. Like that's crazy as fuck. Like I said, when I just take it when I took all the discussion up the first forty five minutes, balled it into one moment and I just took a moment to just really grasp the reality of it. Like uh it's dope, dude. It's dope to see what we see. That's real. But uh, to have you still come through at this point of your career with the projectile that you're on, um, uh, we'll be here cheering for you, Bubba. Man, you better believe it. You know what I mean? So we need it's vice versa too, man. Y'all know what's going on. Uh, facts, dude, and yeah. we know that, and we really appreciate yeah, yeah. you, chill for sure, bro. Uh, we talked about it off camera, and you said it earlier in the episode, but you know, we need we need those DJ chill beats. It's ASAP. Oh, believe it. Oh, yeah. It's sure. on the way. Man, we, yeah. just, we just need to pull up. Yeah, yeah it's on the way. That's all that is. Yeah. I can't wait. I, I'm talking like, I, this is for those guys. I just want to, that's got to happen. So, this, this is what I want to do. Uh oh. We got to do a song. And I wanted to make a beat. Both of y'all freestyle right here. Oh, I'm I got some shit to say. Can we can we make that happen, boys? Can, we, can we do that? I yeah. made the, I freestyle. Made the I mean, I can write something. And I mean, yeah, no, no, that, that, that's yeah. what I mean. That's but what yeah, I mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, absolutely, I'm saying, no, yeah. absolutely, dog. Yeah. On, on my beat, let's do it. Let's do it. Like, we're doing it live sure. on the show, type shit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, hey, uh, hey, I'm with it. Yeah, we did a lot of that on Chad Arms TV. I don't know about this time last year, right, Chad? What was it about yeah, last year? It's been a year and a half. Yeah, year and a half. Chad was going hard on him too. I was doing like like funk flex, like my fuckers gonna stop sleeping on Chad, man. I'm sleeping. What? Bro, y'all gonna stop sleeping on that man? I got you. That's crazy, Mark. Goes that motherfucker's crazy. crazy, man. He's been going crazy but for a long time. Early, like seriously though, there was a chunk of time though on Chad Arms TV where we were we were doing like these. I got some shit to say, like in studio performances. We did it for, with a few different artists that came through, right. and uh, we kind of lost sight of that. But then again, we've been working so hard, dude. And uh, I started working on the album, and I wasn't writing to instrumentals. I was writing to songs. Exactly, yeah, like it, it turned into where he was working on album stuff, and then you know that turned into everything Music else. Music videos and, after that. Yeah, that we yeah. started work. Working on the rollout for that, and then Joe and Jerry got going mm-hmm. as far as their collab album that we just rolled that out, and it mm-hmm. just been working a lot. But uh, other than the DJ Chill Challenge, we'll call it that because that's in full right, effect now right, from this moment right, moving forward. Like that. Like that. We'll, uh, yeah. There was already one more in the works as far as that goes. We mentioned mm-hmm. it to Chill off camera, so just be aware there, we got some stuff coming from uh, Chad and O and E as far as that look goes. But yeah. now I'm excited for this DJ mm-hmm. Chill Challenge. That'll be Let's that's fire off camera. I want. Yeah, you know, we'll play that beat and we'll let it. We'll rap what we got for it. So, oh shit! Yeah, oh, with it. I'm yeah. Gonna uh, yeah, come back and see us soon, chill. Y'all yeah, gonna take a shot soon. for y'all before we wrap it up? Yeah, we got. Yeah. Well, come on, yeah, yeah. I, I forgot. Know, I, know, I gotta so drive, but y'all go ahead and get y'all one. I'm a constant big old man. Good, good for the got, camera. We gotta make it happen. Let's take yeah. one. I was gonna say whenever, whenever he pulled up, I was like, man, I bet he takes a shot of Casa for sure. Man, that, you, you can yeah. ask anybody on the road. They already know I'm walking around with a Casamigos bottle. Of <laughs> is it that, that so, so kind? I got, or I got, got like, an ass, right there, Blanco. I got yeah. an ass. I got an ass, man. And, and if I'm being nosy, just say it. Like but, straight. but how much fucking Casamigo is it on the buses? <laughs> let, me, let, me, sure. let me tell you, bro. Like, if it's not an official sponsorship, bro, all I know is, man, je- je- the whole team probably buys out. Casamigos, bro. We probably compete with with, with clubs at this point. <laughs> yeah, dude. Ser- seriously, like it's because that's up. a baby we shot. Have, we probably have more than most clubs have, have in, in their spots. Man, that's, yeah, that's it's, crazy, it's just man. for for one weekend run. It's like right, every day, it's, it's more Casamigos bottles popping up. I'm it's, surprised it's, that hasn't cool. been. A th- I'm sure maybe it may be in the works, like a sponsorship with something <laughs> with him or creating his own or something. But yeah, so I'm sure that's that, in would, the works. that would be dope. Just, that would be super dope. Yeah. Uh, we. Like the night of, there's there's footage on chat on TV of, of the night that we had. It was my birthday. I remember that, but it was the night that we had the opportunity to hear like most of the, the son of a center clip that you have on chat. On oh TV yeah, yeah. Us we, in the studio yeah. hearing that for the first time. That and Demon walking you. Yeah. Uh, that night they literally fun fact had a case of that shit. It was Terramana. Uh, Terramana. Oh, okay. It may have been both, but I, I remember it was Terramana. That's yes. what they gave me. Shout but he gave it to me like a. a 
glass goblet. Yeah. And it was like three of those was, yeah. one, you know how it goes. Jelly don't pour these. For sure. Right? Yeah. It gives you a glass three and it's like this and there's your shot. I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't remember luckily was. Mel was driving because... Yeah. You don't remember what? I don't remember what a real shot is. No, like exactly. you're looking at that, like, like this is a, oh, what whistle is, Ed Bassmaster. Right what is this? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Whistle we're taking, we're taking half a cup every time. I'm, I'm talking about <laughs> no exaggeration. If he pours that shit, it's half a cup. I'll co sign it, dude. And then, and then, mm, and then, 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 then he'll talk shit the whole time if you don't take Drink it, shit. pussy. Once. Right. He's like, talking the worst it, influencer shit on this planet, dog. Big shit. He is the biggest bully ever when it comes to alcohol. And I'm not I'm not afraid to say that shit. <laughs> I'd say it if he was in the room, dude. I'd be like, leave me alone. He, he knows. I mean, Fuck he yeah, knows. but he'd, he'd still make you drink it. Well, yeah. It's love, man. You got to do it. It's no, love, yeah, bro. it's love, yeah. guess yeah, what? Two, 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 cup, two half a cups later, you're feeling great. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. Jelly. I commend y'all because I only went on two dates on the bus. And I didn't sleep either night. And I'm like, bro, yeah, I don't see how y'all do that every exactly. day, every I'm, night. Like y'all are y'all are built different, bro. I'm gonna be real, like being in the studio and being in the club all the time, like you just figure out how to find sleep. Yeah, that's you true. Know? Like you're used to that kind of lifestyle yeah, yeah. as far as and not sleeping when, much. When, yeah. when it's time to tap that motherfucker out, that no chill will be in the boot. In the in the mm. bunk, I mean. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm in my bunk, bro. Yeah. Like, shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, straight yeah, up. Yeah, I'm walking straight to that motherfucker, no matter what time it is. Yeah, hey, I'm going to sleep. Got to get yeah. that rest real quick. I can only imagine what that, bro. Because it's like, you, you, don't yeah. know, you don't know when you're going to get it. Some nights you up all night for real. Just sitting on the yep. getting fucked Shooting up. the shit and everybody yeah. hanging out. Yep. You look, you, you look up at the road and it's, it sun's up. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Like, damn, we finna pull up. Yeah. A couple hours out. <laughs> <laughs> A couple hours out. <laughs> Where are we at? So, but, so, Jelly's not back on the road till June? May. It's around, yeah, around that. In May, June. She's just home and working until then, huh? Working until then. I'll just keep then. seeing you flooding the city with all this yeah, work. I got I got South by Southwest coming up, so I'm going to be out in um Austin. I'm going to be out in Austin, Texas. Oh, dope. Yeah. Who you rolling down there with? Did you? Got, you? Man, somebody, yeah. somebody just hit me I, up about that, too. For real, yeah. I got a stage out there um, on 6th Street with my boy DJ Sunny D. He's a big DJ here in Nashville. Dope. So, so we got, Shout out Sunny yeah, D. So we got, it's called The Sound. So okay. it's, we're trying to really like, you know what I'm saying, emphasize Nashville out there. So Dope. So dope. This going to be super cool. Uh, I've never made it South by Southwest. Where never made it to that. No. And that's unfortunate that's, for me. Especially a man to. that sits in a chair yeah, like I gotta this. I got to go. Y'all yeah, uh, need to set up some shit out there. Uh, exactly. Uh, mm-hmm. Not to say that that wouldn't happen in the near future. or, or That'd be dope. Whatever. Yeah, exactly. Uh, sky's the limit as far as that goes. But uh, RP Big Small. Absolutely. He's probably watching. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, <laughs> it's unfortunate that I've just never been out there. Mm-hmm. It's really yeah. sad. Super cool. Man, yeah, yeah. Somebody just hit me up about a, uh about an opportunity, man. Uh some 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 last some last minute shit though. Yeah, yeah. I had to had to carry it a little bit, but I definitely would you know what I mean, would would, would like to jump on that I, one year. You know yeah. what I mean? Like we all take the situation you got was kind of a too good to be true situation. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's exactly. all that's all I'll say. But yeah, yeah, no, it just didn't work out. Yeah. Yeah, but it's, but, it's dope yeah. though. Yeah, it's dope. We need, we need we need to take this motherfucker line out. Mm-hmm. We do need to take yeah, this for real. Hey, yo, yeah, boy. Because you you catching. I'm trying to tell you every time. It's all. It never fails. The the next artist is gonna be super huge. It's always there. Yeah, like it's he's always it's, it's mm-hmm. he or she is always there. Oh, trust me, dude. I've seen them. I've seen tons of them go through that campaign part where they're there. And I was I was out there the first time I went like it's about seven years, six seven years ago. Mm-hmm. I might have been like yeah about. About six years ago, it was the baby was out there with mm. a diaper on. Yeah, so I remember y'all, that. y'all remember that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I saw that yeah. shit right there, right in front of my face. Bro, it's walking around there with the diaper on. I'm like, Corniest hey, shit fuck, you've ever seen. Who the life? fuck is this dude? Yeah, but, but then like I saw him at the stage. I'm like, damn, it's just really hard as a motherfucker. So it's like, yeah, been, that, that, was, that. that was some that was some guerrilla marketing, right? If there. didn't give a fuck yeah. was a person, it would be the baby. His shit was called for break, sure. Break the stage. Mm. Every yeah. every every little performance he went to, like he had so many people on there. Like one stage really broke. Mm. Damn, fell through. Damn, that I didn't was. know that. I had to look <laughs> yeah. into that. Yeah, so it was super dope though, man. It's like that, those artists are always out there though. Uh, think of how many times DJ Chill spun a the baby record since you seen him prancing around with that. <laughs> That's crazy, yeah. right? Yeah, I, that, did, I did one of his performances in Nashville. It was good. After that, after flex, that. Jesus, yeah, it was yeah. dope though. Uh, but to the, imagine that moment I'm seeing doing that because if I would have saw doing that fucking diaper, I don't care, I don't care what <laughs> you pushing as a brand, bro. Until I seen you perform or I actually got to hear something, if I seen you in a fucking diaper, I'm gonna think you're a damn fool, and I don't, I probably didn't want nothing to do with what you're talking about. No, and, and and 
you know what though, man? That's the thing though, man. It had motherfuckers looking. talking. It had yeah. motherfuckers looking like, man, this crazy motherfucker. Or who is this 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 person? Or who the next thing you know, they're looking mm-hmm. into his music. But that's the one thing he stays true to. You know what I'm saying? Even if it's good promotion or bad promotion, yeah, it's, promotion. it's promotion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He stuck yeah. to that shit. Right. Man. So it and maximized our foot. Yep. That that and the situation in 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 in, in Georgia. And like I think it's like somebody pulled up on him or something. Yeah, yeah while they shooting the video and shit. Yeah, like, shout out to the baby. He's probably watching. Yeah. Right. I mean, when it when <laughs> it comes to when it comes to like promotion and marketing and shit, but I don't know, man. And, and some of the shit that he just can't he just can't. It's out of his control You know yeah. what I'm saying The situation of Walmart The motherfucker didn't shake that day though in, in I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about When uh, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Somebody pulled up on him Tried to say what That's what popped, that's what popped it off Been, yeah. been, been great real. marketing You know yeah. what I'm saying and Somebody ran, through, ran yeah, up in his yard And he Walmart. shot somebody And called an ambulance And said That, that was just, Walmart No no I'm talking that, about that, At his house That was the oh, second that. time right there Yeah Yeah Somebody He shot somebody in the leg Yeah But he shot somebody in the leg After all that On his property And and called and was like Hey This dude just ran up on my property I so shot him get the leg him. or something. Yeah, come get him. He's yeah. screaming in the background and, and shit. And then the clip of him busting through the mall. Remember yeah. that? The big That's dude it. in the mall is pressing him real tough. Yeah. And then, oh, then the shit. showed him with his pants down. Face down on the damn floor. <laughs> bleeding. Yeah, man. It's me. No right. love by myself. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. crazy, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. What a fucking. You don't give a fuck, bro. Shout out to baby, dude. Shout out to baby. Shout out to baby. Uh, I recently <laughs> saw an interview with, you know, a lot of, he went through a lot of shit, man, with the. Uh, yeah. As of recently, yeah, I, yeah. I guess where his, his he's not doing the same type numbers and shit, and yeah. uh, he was on a pretty credible platform. I, I don't want to even boast where he was because mm-hmm. I'm uncertain. But I they asked him about his like recent decline in success and recognition. And he was just like, "Hey, fuck it, this is what it is." You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean like I, I know me, I know where I'm at. Yeah, I feel like it always goes in ways. I feel like he knows that. What's it? What's that yeah. saying? It's just like it's like yay. It's just saying about sticking oh, dude, around. It's about to come yeah. back full circle for Yay. Yeah, love Yay, yeah, hate him. Yeah. Hey, Yay finna love bounce back. What's, the, what's that saying about sticking around long enough to be the enemy or something like that? Mm, for real, or, though. Or be the mm. bad guy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, shout out DJ Chill. Shout out DJ Chill, man. For sure. You know it, man. You come back and see us anytime you want to, dude. Yeah, sure. they will. We'll, we'll enjoy having We'll you. definitely do that. We'll write something to a bait and, and do it on here. Oh, we uh, do. We're doing all that. Yeah, that. Hey, hey, sure. hey, you got you got me excited, man. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna make it happen. Uh, uh, it was a, like, I think this episode is a a very motivation. I had moments of motivation and inspiration with DJ Chill today. That's dope. That's dope. Sure. That's, that's I really did. And just knowing you personally, dog, and I've known you for some years now. I it, not saying you were not capable of presenting either to me you know what i mean like me leaving with you leaving today me not being inspired by you not to say that right but uh i didn't really expect it you know what i'm saying and i'm i'm glad that i i got that moment with you bro because uh again we 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 love you bubba and we love seeing you win i appreciate it uh but we trying to win with you it's happening you know what i mean it's happening uh but yeah, it's hopefully uh, we can get this O and E and Chad Arms collaboration, this DJ Chill challenge, get this get this motherfucker knocked out. I, that makes me excited. Just gives us content to shoot over here. Cool. I, I, yeah, I appreciate the pressure. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah for sure, bro. <laughs> I appreciate the I'm, pressure. These boys can handle it. I know <laughs> yeah, they can. Uh, but yeah, shout out DJ Chill. Anything we got got to look forward to as far as like you want to put out there, or we just uh, you're easy to find, you're easy to see. Trust me. Yeah, but is there anything you specifically want to put out there before I get you out of here today? Uh, I'm gonna be real. You guys keep watching. There it is. That's, that's, the, yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Put it. Just keep watching. Y'all gonna see. It's, it's not gonna. It's not gonna go backwards, bro. It's just. It's just going up right now. I so. totally yeah. agree, and I, I almost bet the house on it. But I didn't want to say keep watching, and and then when we're done, you be like, oh man, I wish I would have got. We would have said something. Nah, it's cool. It's so cool. We'll, we'll, we'll come back. We'll come back and talk about it. At the, at that's the, the best this. answer ever, yeah. Bubba, because you, you come back and see us. Anytime you got some shit to say, that fucking chair is yours, chill. You know it, bro. Keep I'm going, baby. We love you, man. Sure. Uh, you know what it is. We'll make sure all your contact information is below. Y'all tap the fuck in with DJ Chill. Y'all catch him on a row with Jelly Roll. Y'all catch him on some production credits. Mm-hmm. Some pretty admirable ones coming around down. The, catch him around the city. You know what I mean? Catch him around the city, spinning it. God knows where. Well, God knows where. Well. Help me, Chad. Where? <laughs> Thank you. Y'all, y'all need to do that shot. Right? Oh, yeah. oh we got to take the shot. Let's do this. Yeah. Before we get to the air like we're live. <laughs> Before we get off the air, guys, we're going to get a <laughs> shot here. <laughs> DJ Chills, Squint 615 and 100. Took a good old shot of Casamigo down the hatch. Down the hatch, baby. Y'all know what it is. ChadOnsTV.com. O-N-E. Squint 615. 
DJ Chill. I got some shit to say dot com. Chat on TV dot com. Chatty, get us the fuck out of here. Bow. Yeah. The, the, the beach, we got these. <laughs>